okay so in this particular video we will be installing windows server 2012 r2 so for that we have already created our machine we can go to edit and see we have mounted our iso file which is windows server 2012 r2 so i will click ok and power on the machine okay so let me maximize this So it will boot and initialize the whole uh, hardware and from the CD and then you it will give you the prompt from where you can start the installation. Okay, so this is a screen you need to select next and you need to select install now. okay so in some cases when you download the package uh, it might require a CD key but in my case uh, it is asking but s uh, what I've seen is in uh, most of the cases it won't ask you for the CD key but my ISO is asking it so let me put the ISO, uh, let me put the CD key in it and I will pause the video and once the key is in we will click next okay okay so in my package I've already put the CD key in now we will be selecting our standard edition with server GUI okay so there are two type of OS which we can install um, you can see one of the core installation which is going to give you only CLI mode and the GUI installation will be going to give you the graphic user interface okay so at this moment we will go with GUI and in the later videos we will also see uh, how the core uh, server looks and how to interact with that okay so I will click GUI standard server GUI okay and click next okay I need to accept the license I'll click next I will select custom and here we need to partition and uh, for the first time uh, we need to create some partition let's say uh, for the first uh, I am giving one okay num lock 156 I will click apply okay so you can see it 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 try to create another partition with say system reserve and drive zero partition 2 which is going to act as a, a primary partition on which we will be installing the OS okay so I can uh, format this particular disk or I can click next that process will also format the volume okay so I will click next so it will format the volume it will copy the files and then complete the installation okay so here installation is completed we need to set a secret password so I'm setting it up so that we can log in with our secret password and click next finish oh so I missed out the password to be set up okay I will click finish and it will do a finalized setting and it will log me in okay let's press control all insert and now I will be giving the ID and password so by default it will pick up the IP address and uh, as it is a virtual machine we will be installing the VMware tools as well okay so VMware tools is a set of tools which will give you more better interaction with the virtual machine so as it is a VMware so VMware will try to install a VMware tools okay so I will show you how to install the VMware tools as well okay so meanwhile let's set up a static IP address on this particular system so for that I will be going to start run and type ncpa.cpl so this will launch the networking section and I need to 
select this and right click and property right click click on property and uh, here we will be disabling the IPv6 as we are not using it so I will be selecting the IPv4 so but before that we need to get the IP address so for that we will go to run and launch command prompt by hitting CMD and hit enter okay so now we will do a IP config to list the IP address which is uh, being picked up to this particular NIC okay so at this moment we will be giving the IP address as it's shown here so I will be selecting the IPv4 click properties and select the static IP okay so that is 192.168.0.103 and it is a class C it will automatically pick up the subnet and let's give the gateway that is 192.168.0.1 and the DNS uh, we will be installing the DNS on this particular box itself as it is will really, be uh, acting as a DC so we are putting it as 127.0.0.1 okay so 127.0.0.1 is the loopback address and as we are installing the DC as well as the DNS that's why we are giving this particular IP okay so I will click OK and close here and if you want to uh, label it you can right click and rename and label it as prod okay so this is a production network so it is easy to identify and now we need to change the name of the system so let's uh, go to server manager and select local server and here we will give uh, select this particular computer name and give a new name we will hit change and type here as DC01 okay I will click OK and click OK so it will ask us to reboot the system and we will restart it now so hope this video is informative in the next video we will be installing the VMware tools I will show you how to install the VMware tools